and thank you all for being here tonight. I would first like to start by thanking the participants of this debate and the organizing team, you know, English learners admin team and uh, English Converse participants and their admins for their dedication and passion for the arguments and uh, for this event. To me, it is completely, um, I, it is truly an honor to serve as a judge for such an, uh, such a meaningful and thought-provoking discussion, which is going to take place short, shortly. I must admit that judging and evaluating a debate is a challenging task for me, although it's an honor. Um, I, Zumar, and my colleague, uh, Lisa, are committed to ensure respectful and fair assessment, and uh, we would, to the best of our ability, avoid showing bias or towards any one participant or position. Well, um, now I think uh, we should. Uh, I appeal to um, the host of this event, um, Nostok and Palash, yeah. uh, to take the floor, yeah. to take over the mic and proceed the further discussion in your best yeah. possible manner. Yeah. yeah, thank you so thank much, you, Palash and Nostok. Go ahead. Okay. So hello everyone, I am your today's host and folk, Nostalk. So for good ideas and innovation, you need human interaction. There should be an exchange of ideas and opinions because that's how we learn, right? It's my pleasure that I am welcoming you all on the behalf of English learners. And I want to give cordial welcome to our respected judges and the members of English Convo into the dunghill of English learners. And to our lovely audience who gonna encourage to all of you, we are honored to receive you and your presence is crucial. Now I would like to introduce my amazing co-host Palash because justice demands it and court awards it. Over to you Palash. Yeah, hello. Audience. Yeah, you should have to mute it. Okay, good evening, audience. In this cold winter evening, my warm wishes to all the respectable judges, my lovely participants from both team, and all the beautiful audience present here with us. We all gathered here to find out a solution by enthousi enthusiastic debate on an interesting topic, which is uh, moving on uh, social media as a hot cake. Uh, the topic is abortion should be banned or not. Myself, Polash here, I'm going to represent Team English Convo, which is against the motion. Along with me, my co host, charming and be beautiful lady, Nostok, going to represent Team English Lana, who is in favor of that motion. We both will be with you guys till the end of this session. Let's invite my co host to inform you guys about the rules and regulation of this debate. Over to you. Thank you so much, Palash. So before commencing this clash of minds, let me tell you about the rules quickly. So there will be three rounds. In first loop, members of team EL will express his or her views for three minutes and the members of opposite team will counter for one minute only. After that, team B will express his or her ideas for the three minutes and the members of EL will counter to opposite team for one minute. And second round, Two debaters will come from each team and they will counter each other for 10 minutes. And in third cycle, one person from each team will come for the conclusion part and it must be done in two minutes. Is there anything left, Palash? Mm, I guess it's almost done. Uh, you left the third cycle, I guess. So the third cycle will be uh, three for well, three minutes, I guess. Okay, whatever it is, I think uh, we should start. Maybe participants yeah, are meeting. Yeah. yeah. So first thing, I hope you all are as elated as I am. So without any further delay, let's get started. I would like to call up my first participant and her name is Atta. And you know what about her? She leaves a sparkle wherever she goes. So Atta, you there? Yes, I am. Oh, we can start my now. Is... Yeah, mic is all yours. All right. Okay. So good evening, my fellow participants and listeners, both the hosts will be introducing and encouraging us throughout 
and the judges who will be impartially judging the performance of all of our participants. I'm at a moment here in the debate uh, in support of banning the abortion. Let's go on with the reasons why I am in uh, support of banning it. The first one, life begins at conception itself. Fetus is a life being that is conceived inside of a body of a female right after having a physical intimacy, as we all are aware of this fact. And this reflects to the fact that abortion is a murder in some or the other way, even uh, undeniably or undeniably. And the second reason why I feel it should be banned is that legal abortion promotes a culture in which life is quite disposable. It reflects to the fact that human's existence is just as disposable as that of garbage or just as that of a plastic bag. During various incidents, people just want to escape the responsibility of being parent despite conceiving if uh, they have rights of abortion it would be easier for them to measure this uh, to misuse this law and cover up their mistakes quite easily i would now proceed on with the third reason and which is it makes a person ignorant towards the sexual education people despite having proper access to sexual education ignore the facts or the mistakes which can be caused out of uh, this ignorance of uh, the uh, contraceptives they are having and even uh, not practicing the safe sex, which in turn can also have an impact on the societal morals and values. I would say the another topic, the, the another reason would be that uh, teenagers or people who would be having abortion legalized would not be afraid of consequences in turn. Every individual is aware of the fact that childbearing comes with ample of responsibilities and gov if government legalized abortion there would be and there wouldn't be any fair left within individuals naturally we all become capable of bearing a child by the teenage which is approximately by 13 or 14 years of age and it isn't that young for a person to see what's right and what's wrong although legislators claim the bill was intended to protect women's health the effective intent was to close dozens of abortion clinics throughout the Texas in the US because those restrictions were impossible for most of the clinics to meet. And this harmed women's health to a greater extent. I would say the another reason would be mental health of the child bearer. The abortion ex uh, experience directly contributes to the mental health problems in most of the cases. There are risk factors such as pre-existing mental Ill illness that identify women in greater risk of mental health problems after abortion. This is caused due to the regret of killing away a living being, which would have been a, a grown individual, whether a child is born or not. Even though conceiving during the conceiving period, mother naturally develops emotional connection with the child in the womb. This is the reason most of the women change their decision to abort the baby in Time most of the cases. Time for better. Time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You really have mentioned some of the valuable points. So, Palash, from your team, who is coming for the counterpart? So, from my team, Bitu is going to counter those points that she mentioned here. Bitu? Yeah. Okay, come up with your... Thanks for giving me the chance. Yeah. And counterpoints. First, first of all, congratulations for your good speech. Yeah. So, I would uh, like to ask you a question. Regard, first, regarding mental health, that you said that, but I I am of the opinion like even if you go around and you see some studies that have shown that women who are not allowed abortion are more depressed because they have to suffer it throughout their life. Just take example of a like 16, 18 year old girl who has suffered this pregnancy, maybe because we are not having that kind of really good sex education and also, and also rapes are real. And... Uh, even many children are, not children, I would say, like the girls of 16 to 20 years, they're facing unwanted pregnancies. So what about them? them? If they are not allowed abortion, then their whole life is at risk. They will suffer dep depression throughout and they have to carry a children that was unwanted and it can cause financial stress and other rarely impact that will sustain for life. What about them? All right. So, uh, proceeding on with the questions you have asked me, unwanted pregnancy. See, in most of the cases, you talked about 16 to 20 years of age. People are aware of sex education, be, uh, even if it is not a, quite a common issue in India. But in all the cases, we can see sex education is vital. And on every platform in the, on the internet, they have told about it, that how you can perform safe sex 
and how if you are not uh, aware of pregnancies you should not indulge into it that would be my concern and uh, suffering from mental health problems initially it would be very easy to get rid of a child but in the later part if they will bear a child in the further future uh, which would be wanted then also they will get reminded of the child they have killed and believe it or not abortion is killing of a living being in some or the other way and that regret would stick to them forever and there is nothing painful than losing a child even if it is wanted or unwanted this might be known uh, to you and to other our other members as well that at some point, point or the other our mothers might have lost some child due to some or the other reason and you can still see the impact they are going through and i've seen my mother in this case and then i can tell that uh, even abortion if it is performed at a young age or even at a in a older age it impacts the mental health and still she will be reminded of the uh, of the baby she has lost willingly or unwillingly thank you yeah thank you so much ata now palash over to you again yeah thank you bitu uh, for countering her question it was so nice to listen all of you to listen both of your conversation uh, so whom you going to invite next nostro um from my team i am going to invite anand and you know what about him he is his own leader right. so uh, sorry to interrupt we you need to yeah, invite from team. your team. team this is what i was thinking so palash the person okay. will be from your team okay from my team jain gonna put on the fire of bhc right now jain you here hello yes i'm here yeah come up and put your points here you have three minutes okay so first i would like to say thank you to all the members of the team for giving me the opportunity to speak here and thanks for paying heed yeah so as the first speaker i will be defining the key term and outlining the main arguments <clears throat> so first we should understand that what do we understand by the term abortion so the abortion it is to like it is the process to remove the embryo or the fetus <clears throat> by the uterus by the medication or any surgery abortion it is a very it is just one word consists just eight letter but that's really a very complicating and challenging decision for all the humans for all the mothers mm-hmm. yeah so first we should understand that uh, do you think that it can be easy for a woman no it is not it is very painful and also it is a challenging decision for her so women takes every possible precaution that they do not have to go undergo abortion and um, like Uh, but unwanted pregnancy it, it is the reality of a, of our life sometimes it unprecedented like uh, sometimes we have to go to undergo in the like uh, unwanted preg- pregnancy and uh, like as a result of uh, the failed birth control pills and uh, the rape that's the main part so before banning it we should first understand like what can be the consequences and what are the reason that to compel women to take this challenging decision or step <clears throat> so i would say like some countries even have banned um, the uh, abortion like um, they just do not allow a woman to terminate pregnancy even no matter what happens like even if the she will have been raped or anything she is just forced to bear a ra- and raise a child thus like the, the so i want to say like um yeah so maybe there is some other factor that they should they think that uh, it is like a killing of a, of an of an individual or like it is like maybe the the fetus can uh, feel the pain the baby can feel the pain or anything so um here i would like to say that um uh, like it's scientifically proven that the 
The fetus starts feeling pain or sensation after the 26 week of gestation. It cannot um, occur before 24 weeks. So there is not possibility to face the pain before that. So here I would like to say that imagine if you if your 12 year old daughter or a sister is walking home from a school and one day she got kidnapped or got raped and you are like living in a country where it is like legally banned it's not allowed to get aborted so what will be your next step what are you gonna do and what about the girl whose future is just um, thrown out of the window his her dream got shattered just because of that one thing and Jane, there is not any... so yeah thank you for mention some good oh. points over here about today's discussion about today's uh, debate so now stock we're gonna come to encounter her points yeah, from, yeah. from my team from my team i would like to call the name of a sahil sahil you there yeah i'm here okay sahil just go for it yeah, Zain, I respect your opinion and I would like to share, I'd like to ask you something, hope you get into the consideration that particular point. First, I would say when you talked about the birth control, actually abortion has very, very less significance related to the birth control. It is one of the most asked questions when we talk about the abortion, it's one of the most serious questions. Abortion is first of all the wrong way to retard population and even if it is the right way, adoption, abortion, doesn't even provide a significant input to that particular thing. There would be no anomaly. There would be no variation. Even after the, even uh, uh, like abortion would be banned or not, there would be no retardation in population because it provides a very significant input. The second thing I would say after the increase in human evolution and everything, even in the laws, even in the official legals, we have, we have seen that killing people, human trafficking, animal trafficking is illegal and can be turned into punished to death. So at the same time point, when we think about killing a baby in the uterus who would be a teen soon, how can it be turned into, not be turned into a murderer? Like, how can we, we, we be this Thank much you. diplomatic at some Thank point? You, Thank you, Sahil, for your question. Okay, now Palaj. We are eagerly waiting for... Hello? Palaj, should you... Hey, hello. Yeah, Jen. Jen, we are waiting for you to respond. A reward to Sahil. Okay, so I wanted to say, I want to say, like, it's not just. Sometimes it's not just a choice. It's a compulsion of that women or a girl who just, who just have left with no options in the in her life. It is like there is no denying that is it is a murder, but. There, you should think about the reason and the consequences that can arise. Maybe she can prefer to die than having a baby because in this society, you know, like people just look for a reason to defame a girl, to like, <laughs> just like to uh, raise a question on her owner. So maybe she can go under depression or she can prefer to die. So it's better to end up like, you know, So yeah, like uh, it's just a compulsion, you know, sometimes it's compulsion. So we, it shouldn't be banned, I guess. It shouldn't be. Increasing, thank ra you, Jen. increasing rape is what? Yeah, thank you, Jen, for putting your uh, opinion here about today's debate. So now, Stok, whom are you going to invite from your team? Okay, thanks for giving the, me the opportunity to speak over here. Thanks. Uh, okay, Jan, it was really nice, but from my team, I am going to call out the name of a limited edition. I know he has a never give up attitude. Anand, you there? Yeah, hello, no stop. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Hi. guys. Good evening. Okay. okay, so thank you for my platform in which I can speak and provide my views on regarding the thing whatever the abortion of the child. So yeah, banning of abortion, definitely. So <clears throat> neither wasting the time nor, you know, making this thing monotonous. I'll say that what we are discussing is killing of an innocent. Abortion is what about is killing of an innocent, right? So we are discussing about, we are freely discussing about killing of an innocent and we want to make this thing rightly that we have authority of 
uh, you know to kill an innocent of or a life of innocent so that we will be happily live our pleasureful life i don't think so it is a good thing uh, i want to say that rather than make these kind of things or you know having the authority to make abortion we should do what we should inculcate the habit of teaching our children or uh, making aware making awareness regarding the same like uh, uh, provide good education regarding sexual edu education and many more things so that they will learn how to use this thing how to uh, have these kind of things and how to use such kind of contraceptive device like uh, there are so many contraceptive device which is not only helping uh, unwanted pregnancy but also leads to uh, reducing the abortion case and sometimes also leads to uh, making us uh, safe and aware about the STDs which are uh, HIVs and many more things so i would want, i also want to say here that uh, abortion makes us something more severity in our life like sometimes a woman has to face some sort of miscarriage in further having the pregnancy like if he had done some sort of abortion in the previous or in the past he she has to face some sort of you know miscarriage issues in the future uh, next thing is that if we want to look up the data then definitely we have uh, a data in india or in globe that every day 8 to 10 children or child or an infant uh, die due to abortion or just because of you know unsafe abortion or these kind of things which leads to the death of a person or an innocent and we want to say and we people our opponents are fighting in a debate in which they want to have the authority or a legal right to kill or murder an innocent how foolish and in, insane they are i don't think so it is a thing of you know discussion definitely abortion should be banned because every child deserves to live in this world no matter whatever their circumstances but yeah uh, i think that uh, we should aware we should provide more awareness regarding our things whatever our doing like we generally use some sort of you know, reckless relationship with each other to which leads to unwanted pregnancy and sometimes you know abortion also teach us that it is nothing but but promotes or you know leads to a mental we should in you know say like a trivial thing we should dispose it as a garbage further thing can be also be done like uh, if you use birth control if you use health insurance uh, thing and if you also use sex education to our thing then also it will make abortion unnecessary uh, last but not the least i'll say nothing can justify the killing of an innocent which is well grown in the mother of a womb mother of a lady I'm or in the womb of a i am sapanand yeah thank you for such a valuable point it was really nice and mind blowing and uh, palash from your team who is coming to counter anand so from my team i'm inviting a person who gonna uh, who can uh, counter his good points i'm inviting mr smiley here to counter anand's points uh thank you for having me tonight so like uh, let me ask this question to the motion like do you really mr anand do you really want to be responsible for increasing the number of women dying from unsafe abortions in india like do you really want to take away the women rights or to make their own private decisions about their own private bodies like the fact and data are clearly clear that uh, banning abortion will harm women and do nothing to address the root cause of unintended pregnancy it will only lead to illegal abortions i okay. want you to address me on this okay 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 so you said about like a woman's life and her body's choice whatever they want definitely it is true but the thing is that how a reckless a woman is who don't care about uh, having relationship without using contraceptive device and she just want to uh, dispose of the children which she, which she have mistakenly uh, we can say grown up in her belly or in her womb is this a good thing is this a is this not a fully sack if she really want to care for her body then it must also be that it, uh, she really want she should really want to care for an innocent life which is just want to grow which just want to live not rather than you know just kill them and dispose of it is not a kind of humanity i think it is a cruelty unlike you know it is not known for a mother or not recommended for a mother yeah thank you thank you for the befitting reply anand again palash coming back to you from your team who is coming next so from my team i'm i'm inviting mr shivam to mention his good words uh, good points over here 
about our debate yeah first of all thank you pola sir for inviting me and good evening each and every person present here so i am in favor of not to ban the abortion i support that we can't force a woman that she has to become a mother or she does not have to carry a baby i believe that none can force her for anything on not only in the case of abortion like there are many serious situation when a woman has to do abortion maybe at that time she is not ready to be a mother his physical health or his mental health or economical background we can also say that her family and there are many things that doesn't allow her to become a mother at that time and carry that baby it can be dangerous for her life too like we have seen many cases and uh, the body of the mother does not allow her to carry that baby that baby is not uh, pretty much well uh, there are some cardiac problem in the baby so there are a lot of situations she has to do the abortion willingly or unwillingly so uh, it can be dangerous for the life of the baby and the life of the mother too so it can totally ruin her mental peace in the future like we have various studies uh, that is shown or like carrying a baby uh, that can be more dangerous and more uh, uh, dis- can de- can more harmful to her mental peace while is, uh, except to doing the abortion uh, i would like to share a report uh, of uh, yeah good way india so they told that uh, uh, the women who aborted the child like they are more happy in the future like women who uh, carry the baby and somehow that uh, baby cannot survive so that is more dangerous for that i can say and uh, indian government also allows the abortion 20 weeks of the after the 20 weeks of the pregnancy and uh, 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 our medical science has also done the progress it it is also it clearly shows that the baby doesn't feel the pain in uh, earlier 20, uh, 20 weeks so it is not a murder first of all and we we want to create a better world for the women and for the everyone so we should provide the freedom to a woman what they actually want to do with their body or with their future we at least we have to give the option to the woman if she wants to have a baby or she doesn't want to like we all know that our mother loves her, his baby more than any person in the world so there might be some serious situation when she has to do the abortion we we at least we need to understand their situation and we need to support her at the moment so we we are not the one who can force her to do anything okay thank you shibam yeah that's uh, my uh, point and shibam thank you po- thanks po- po- for listening points yeah okay so nostok whom you going to invite to encounter Sh- mr shibam okay okay i would like to invite ata to counter mr sivam ata are you okay. ready yes i yeah. am okay so first of all shivam said that for 20 weeks of uh, fetus doesn't experience pain there hasn't been any specific uh, research or test on this and how can we measure the pain tolerance of an unborn fetus i'm not sure like how he said this and next thing he said risk of uh, conceiving and abortions comparatively risk of conceiving can be lessened by proper diet and weight gain that naturally occurs in women we might we all might have uh, seen this thing in our surrounding and my question to him is what about risk of abortions like we are aware of certain uh, medication like mifepristone and mifeprostol that induces a miscarriage and that isn't even 100% safe it involves various risks which in turn can harm their internal organs and result can also even result in death what about that conceiving can be lessened by proper diet and healthy weight gain but what about this thing what about medications which would trigger your body parts or would cause uh, damage to your liver kidney or any other your womb and can even affect your fertility rate what about that okay so first of all i want to say that uh, by, uh, to for uh, completely ban anything that is not the our right the option 
and if we are banning something so what will uh, uh, how we can help the women that uh, that is pay- feeling that pain or the uh, situation who will understand the situation of the women like uh, many women died due to carrying the baby and uh, if uh, if the the mother is died and the baby survived and that is not uh, that much uh, uh, that is somehow disabled or there are some incurable cardiac problems so who will care that baby further like and you told that uh, how we will measure the pain of the baby like fetus so uh, uh, we can say that the technology and the medical science has done Uh, a very good progress in this field and the, their study shows that the fetus does not feel the pain and the indian government and the supreme court also accept this fact so this uh, this is shown by our medical science uh, we are not telling here uh, by our choice that is the uh, fact Okay thank you so much Shivam it was nice it was up to the mark now my next participant is Meher she is too glam to give a damn so Meher you there ah uh, yeah hi hi uh, hi please go on. good evening yeah. good evening guys and thanks for this wonderful opportunity i'm pretty sure now all must be aware of the word abortion so i don't have to be give you a definition so let's uh, just jump into the reasons why i am supporting that abortion should be banned firstly is the every person has the right to live no doubt uh, some women have the say that their child may have any disability mentally or physically so they want to abort but i would say that how can you say that a baby has no hope so you don't have any right to kill them intentionally it is also possible that baby can have a better life than yours so we don't have any right to kill the newborn baby i would recommend us that having an abortion is equivalent to murder murder because uh, after four weeks of pregnancy the developing of an embryo is already has a pumping heart ears nose brains and a appearance of mouth so it would be really illegal as it's uh, because it subjects that the unborn baby to agonizing pain and suffering so in this case i would regard humans are the only animals that kill their baby intentionally then after this the my reason would be nowadays uh, according to the research of 1988 uh, it is said that most of the abortions are happening intentionally they are done because women does not want to compromise in their career they don't want to disturb their figure so in that case i would really uh, oppose this fact of aborting a child just to excuse themselves from the guilt and responsibility i really believe that they should uh, they should want to escape from their responsibility that's why they are aborting and this is not the good reason to kill a child and last but not the least it is a dangerous to a women's body because most of the women would really feel that abortion is like just an easy thing to do but uh, mind it it's very dangerous to their body because uh, one of the disease is a breast cancer which is the most widespread among those women who are aborting on a great extent and apart from that there are various diseases and even most of the women can also lose their lives it can disturb their body functioning so i would not recommend this step that they would give and i would like to conclude by ha- giving an example of an appreciable step which was taken by the supreme court uh, if you will read an article which was published in the tribune on 2nd of february there a 20 year old student who was mistakenly pregnant Time want sir, to ma'am. get time sir thank you so much yeah palash from your team who gonna okay. counter mahal 
So from my team, I want to invite Alini to encounter Max point. Okay, Max. You said that we have no right to kill the baby, but what if the baby is born in a poverty-stricken family and does not get the proper nutrition it requires to grow into a full adult? You said that the baby can have a better life than ours. How will the baby have a better life if we, the adults, the ones who are responsible to take its care, are not mentally stable and prepared to take care of the baby? You are talking about the rights of an unborn baby to live. but what about the right of the living human the woman here who has all the right to choose what she wants to do with the baby it is completely ironical and you said women want to remove guilt and responsibility what about the man is a man not involved when a woman conceives you said a 20 years old mistakenly got pregnant there's no such thing as mistakenly pregnant and the unless the girl is 13 to 12 years old or she is raped i want you to answer these okay uh firstly i would like to say that it's the women who are uh, have the full right to get pregnant after knowing all the things they uh, they can have the safe sex if they want to get really pregnant and if they want to get rid of that responsibilities then they must not uh, indulge in that activities which can lead to that consequences then i would like to say that if uh, i'm telling the other alternatives if a woman is not financially stable and uh, still he want to go for abortion i would not recommend it to that because there are other alternatives which i had uh, m- not mentioned uh, because of the shortage of time as the supreme court had already mentioned one of the best alternative is to give the child to the adoption care center where some parents are eagerly waiting for a child who cannot conceive and that's why a person can also get rid of the child by not murdering him just by giving that child to a family who really wants that so that their proper the proper care should be taken and that can that can't be the financial burden on the women itself so i would uh, really appreciate that women which would uh, take this alternative instead of wow, aborting a child uh, you know what you have really given a satisfactory response now palash thank you again mic is all yours yeah and thank you alaini for your nice and counter points and counter question was really appreciable so from my can team, i can i ask something to uh, mehar No 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 no. Palash carry on. Hello am I audible now? Yeah yeah you are clear and loud. Okay from my team uh Hello am I audible hello Yes you are Yes yes you are audible Let's continue for that so bad I don't So from my team I'm inviting Mr Spiley to rock on Thank you so much Flash uh for giving me this amazing opportunity so first of all wishing you all a very lovely evening so without wasting any time let's get started so like first of all i want to thank you for having me here tonight and the motion is uh, for like the motion for banning abortion in india is not only unrealistic but it's also very dangerous you haven't peeked the other side of it but let me introduce you the other side of it okay so but it's also very dangerous for human health and their right banning abortion will not decrease in number of abortion at all if you are thinking you are going to put ban on human women abortion in the number of abortion will get reduced no instead it will drive women to seek unsafe and illegal procedure leading to rise in maternal mortality and morbidity rates this is like 
according to the world health organization who in every 8 minutes in this debate only in every 8 minute a woman dies from an unwanted or unsafe abortion in india in every 8 minute a woman dies from unsafe abortion in india and this counts up to 47000 deaths each year if we ban abortion and this number is will only increase if if we ban abortion in fact the research shows that in countries where abortion is banned the maternal mortality rate is 3 to 4 to 5 times higher than in country where the abortion is legal and completely safe moreover the like women who are unable to access the safe and legal abortions may be forced to carry the pregnancies to the term and the, the unwanted or uninitiated babies to the term of like nine months and all because like being a mother is not a small job we all know but even if they are facing life threatening complications like even if it about you can either like save your baby or I, you can save your life these are the complications in some cases or if the pregnancy result like rape or incest if you been if you are a innocent girl a 14 or 17 year old girl and been raped and you don't want the baby but it's illegal in your country to have a abortion a safe abortion and like it's what to say it's important to understand that women reproductive rights are human rights it's not uh, something that we can change or we can put ban on and like an uh, ban on abortion goes against the fundamental right to life and health the right to choose whether to continue to end a pregnancy or it's a personal decision of a woman and that should not be uh, like decided by any government at all Additionally, a ban on abortion neg- negatively impact the Indian economy too. You haven't thought this in this way, but it's gonna act on Indian economy too. A study by Gurchumir Institute estimated in 2008 that the cost of like treating complication from unsafe abortion in India is approximately 190 crores, or we can say equivalent to something 40 million. So this cost will only increase if abortion is banned and more women Sorry. are forced to Thank see. You. illegal your time okay, is up thank you yeah thank you so much for listening me yeah thank you for mentioning your valuable data it was really so nice to hear you that was really uh, opponent destroying data that you have mentioned and thank you for thank you for mentioning those points so nostok whom you want to invite for encounter yeah. my okay i am going to invite i am going to invite mahar i know she is going to give the befitting reply to mr smiley so mahar agli <laughs> yeah okay uh, as you are telling that women should opt for unsafe abortion so you don't think that uh, women are risking their body parts and it would be better if the doctors should be well aware or uh, be well aware of that their responsibility there should be education regarding that so definitely if women will before hand know the consequences of that but they would never opt for this thing knowing all the side effects of this and secondly uh, why really you think so that a rape victim will have only the option of aborting there are hundreds of women even if they are rape victims still they are uh, opting to keep the baby up and raising them one and yeah that is am i allowed to like answer the question सिचुएशन दैट कम्स इन योर लाइफ लाइक समटाइम्स यू लाइक अनवॉन्टेड थिंग्स कम ओके दैट्स not the part and a ban on abortion in india is not a solution to reducing the unintended pregnancies instead we can focus on like on providing comprehensive sexuality education access to contraception like free condoms like in finland happening and uh, like Uh, what and safe and legal abortion services to reduce the need of abortion and protect the woman health it's not a murder you if you think broadly it's a it's a like it's a very fair thing 
and you are hope you understand my points now thank you so much yeah thank you so much mr smiley it was really nice to hear you so no stock whom you want to invite from your team right now okay from my team i am going to invite a person who don't react much but trust me he notice everything his name is ashutosh ashutosh you there yeah yeah i'm here yeah ashutosh please go on okay so the first misconception about abortion is that if a woman does abortion then this will bring down the population growth rate let me show you you know in india 14 to 15% of the pregnancies end up in abortion 14 to 15% of the pregnancy and still india is growing so rapidly we are right now the most populated country in the world so from this fact it is clear that abortion is not stopping the population growth rate second thing 67% of the abortions in india are unsafe that means it is just because abortion is legal people are performing it by saying that we are the medical uh, practitioners and we can do this it is legal so 60% 67% of the abortions are unsafe so if abortion will become illegal then somehow it will pose as a as a deterrent to stop the illegal abortions and this will bring down the death due to unsafe abortion attempts and moreover you know when we when we discuss this question the moral and the ethical ground is often unnoticed so those who those who support abortion emphasize that it is the choice of the woman and she want whether she wants to what she wants to do with her body and uh, no external authority should be dictating the woman about making such an important decision but what we need to understand here is that life which is getting killed in this process also has the right to live isn't it why don't we consider this just because it can't speak for itself does it mean that we can justify our cruelty done against it if if the couple is not ready to have a child then they should just use contraceptives or other other deterrents and if by chance if by chance pregnancy does occur then we'll check other parameters to see if abortion is actually needed in this case or not so there are some cases when abortion is uh, is okay for, for first case is that if the woman is a rape victim or an incest victim in this case i totally agree abortion is needed or we can use other alternative methods like uh, let the baby come into this world and then we will put that in the adoption centers in the second case when the pregnancy is causing the woman some serious mental trauma or if or if it, it can lead to the woman's death then in this case also abortion is okay <clears throat> so that that's all that's all yeah thank you so much ashutosh so palash from your team who is coming for the counterpart for countering palash for countering uh, i'm inviting mr shibam to counter his points yeah okay yeah you also agreed that the banning is not uh, the uh, last option for that because if the girl is uh, being raped and i want to ask one thing like uh, you you also mentioned that uh, it will be taken care by some other parents who are needed to that we can do that and we can ensure her safety so that would be easy to a um, mother to give her child to another person and if she is not a, in that mental listen, listen, state bro, to listen. do that kind of thing the the, the mother who is yeah. ready to kill her child it will be easy for for her to give that child no, to, no. to some other parent it will be very easy so for her to tell you no 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 listen me completely first if if the if the mother is in that situation that he can do the abortion in the initial stage so that is okay so it would be more men it would more uh, disturb the lady mentally when it will give her child to another person or to the government after the 9 month so i uh, don't you think that that is better in the uh, first and third week to uh, abort that child for giving it to another person and watching whole life see if 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 you see from the perspective of right whether you have the right to do or not don't you think that the that the kid who has not come to into this world 
that kid does not have a right or what he also have the right to live or not is he not involved in this decision making process okay thank you so much ashutosh uh you really have a good point and shivam you also did a great job here now again i would call palash palash please okay. clear okay from my team from my team i want to invite a charming and captivating lady alaini okay thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak so i would like to draw your attention to the amount of children that are found on the garbage pits on a daily basis why because the parents are unwilling to take care of it it's better to abort the child than to bring it into this world and throw it on a garbage pit where i we don't know what will happen to it after that either some cult will take it up or it will be a food to a dog or any stray animal next these kids are put up into orphanages and missionaries where the condition are not very favorable they are not getting that emotional care and health that they need in order to grow next i would like to draw your attention to those families which cannot afford to raise a child there are many families who are not stable they already for example let's see let's say about the families who live under bridges and whatever if they keep on giving birth to children what about their health and situation they will not be able to get proper education proper cloth not even proper food or medical care it is also helpful in population control because because obviously india has exceeded china in its population control and its high time in its population level and it's high time that we stop producing children in mass okay next about the physical and mental abnormalities and um if a child is not does not get proper care it can have a lot of nutrition deficiency because the family is poor and it is not able to provide proper nutrition to it most of the times parents are unwilling and the child develops emotional trauma and is immature next i would like to draw attention that let's say that the baby is born out of wedlock in that case most of the times the men denies the responsibility and if abortion is ba- banned then the women will be solely responsible for taking care of the child who will care about if the society considers her as an outcast the society will consider her as an outcast and will consider has her as having a loose character so it's better than to give birth to an illegitimate child okay next i would like to draw a very interesting point which anand said that every child deserves to live but under what conditions under poverty under no education no love from parents and one of my fellow teammates fellow competitors said that the child will be turning to a teen soon what about until he turns a teenager who will take care of him or her until then yeah i rest my point here Yeah, thank you, Alaini, for mentioning those valuable points here. So, Nostok, how's the bomb? How's the attack? Yeah. Do you have any shield to counter her? Definitely, I do have. I am going to invite Anand, and I know he is going to smash this. Anand, you there? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Nostok. Yeah. So, yeah, the previous speaker has mentioned about my point that every child deserves to live. but she also mentioned that under poverty or something in a harsh condition or severe condition i want to ask it is better to be in poverty or kill a child rather than killing an innocent i'll prefer that you know donate to the adoption center rather than killing that children i'll prefer to go for the orphanage at least they have the life at least there is the hope there is the ray of hope to change his life maybe he is maybe he is living in a struggling condition but at least if he ha- if he had struggled a lot there is a some sort of chance that he will be do uh, he will doing something he will do something great in the future maybe some opulent family or some rich family will adopt the children and the whole life of that poor person will change from there what do you say here such a great question but how many people actually go for adoption centers they'll prefer to have their own child 
and it's obviously in most cases it's better to end the life while it is not taken the shape of a proper baby okay within the first few weeks within for one or four weeks it's better to abort the child because what if nobody adopts him or her what if the child does go into an orphanage or a missionary but the conditions are not favorable the orphanage or the missionary considers or does some very illegal activities what if it supplies it to some cult or sends the child to a brothel or something like that why don't you consider that point over here it's very important to consider about the initial stages of his life 1 to 15 a child needs at least 15 years of proper mental emotional care and supervision if not he will be deficient mentally emotionally and he will suffer from depression and trauma so you one point That's you my mentioned point. that uh, couple want to have their own oh ben yeah guys time sir was really nice from both the end again i must say it was a really nice round so from my team now i would like to invite a girl she is ready to prove herself cause she is brave enough to be bad at something new so fara you there yes can you yeah fara go on okay thank you so much and i hope you are doing well so by supporting my team as like to link up some more uh, points here so uh, as it's definition clear the topic that uh, abortion means the deliberate termination of a human being right so but if you reject that uh, abortion doesn't mean that killing a person or killing a human being so or you might say that baby isn't born yet that how we can say that uh, it's the same as like uh, uh, killing a uh, innocent uh, human being right but according to the neuro uh, biology research shows that even fetus or new uh, uh, the baby uh, can feel the pain so it means that abortion is the same uh, same as killing an an innocent human being so this is the main reason that why we are supporting the, this topic and uh, moreover so it causes a uh, psychology damage so it means that uh, the woman who under abortion so maybe at the higher risk for subsequent depression so most of the um, the women get depression after abortion because they think that they uh, that uh, or they killed their baby or they did the a wrong thing so in and most of the people um, says according to their uh, religious belief uh, and and i'm sure not only in one religion and in um, like in all religion it believes that hurting someone or killing someone is a wrong thing and it's completely you know um, uh, so wrong and we shouldn't do that so we are talking that it's not uh, a ab- abortion so there are many uh, there are a good way to a woman can stop her uh, pregnancy that's to uh, so uh, like uh, uh, so why we, we should we shouldn't follow this or we shouldn't you know um, suggest this way to the women that like by taking some uh, uh drugs or some other uh, ways that why we sh- we should not you know shoot this way or suggest them this way to that only we should directly shoot that abortion so abortion uh, you know it not only hurts the baby the unborn baby so it it can hurt the mo- um, the mother as well so this are the thing that we are supporting our uh, this topic thank thanks a lot that's all from my side yeah fara it was really nice and you really nailed it so palash from your team who is coming for a counter part so i'm inviting uh, mr silent say to encounter fara's nice point okay fara you are talking about that it amounts to killing of a human being but the question here is that what actually living means now it's actually the, the the term of living has actually changed 
It is got a paradigm shift in its meaning, like we're saying, the complete living. It includes in its domain. You can say education and uh, you know, a right to have a complete and dignified living. When a person, when a parent doesn't have so much economic resources to bear the expenses of the child, how come it amounts to a uh, you know living? So, okay, everyone, it doesn't... yeah, go on. so it doesn't need any uh, cost to like uh, to follow some other way that as I mentioned, like by taking some drugs, right? Even in a uh, government uh, hospital, it's free for all the people, even for poor people. And even they can go on uh, in say of uh, uh, their problems it doesn't need any like cause that and your families cannot you know afford that okay farah it was really nice and palash again from your you? team who is coming us yeah yeah we could hear you palash who is coming next from your team so from my team, I'm inviting Bitu uh, to put his op opinion about our today's debate. So sorry, there is some confusion. Anam will be going. Hello, Anam will speak. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, first of yeah, all, Anam, I want go to... Ahead. Okay, thank you. First of all, I want to say good evening all of one and own all. And uh, thank you for giving, make me part of this debate. And I am the favor of... Uh, Abortion should be not banned. So in my opinion, let me know, uh, let me clear one thing. What is the abortion? Abortion is the pro pro um, procedure to end the pregnancy. So how is it done? The by through the medicine or the surgery, but it is not piece of cake for everyone. Not sound fun. It's not, it's totally opposite of fun. It's a very very painful process and very uh, difficult a difficult decision for that woman. But uh, uh, but unwanted pregnancy are reality of life as a as a fail birth control and most sensitive issue of the society is the rape. Because uh, rape victim somehow girls is not that much mature to yeah, sorry that much mature to take a birth of the child and the, they're not able to take care of them. So in that way they they needed to abortion. And do you know that the reality or choices choice is this is the choice is very difficult to human has has make uh, make this choice our body our life. Uh, put in that risk it's not easy but why women uh, women choose this difficult task difficult path is that abortion because somehow because somehow the women have to face some kind of trouble in their life so i want to mention that point like first i uh, first thing uh, the women have to face uh, economic situation like the some couple sorry not able to afford the child they are not economical that much strong to uh, take up uh, take care of the child and uh, second thing is that social condition i already mentioned that rape uh, rape is the uh, rape victim uh, whenever they're going to the um, take care of the child or uh, carry the pregnancy so uh, they always think in their mind what people are think about me if i'm taking uh, they, uh, take birth a child so how i manage their life and uh, uh, how can I take care? How can I secure their future? Uh, uh, are you with the child who will going to accept me? So in that kind of fair the house, so the uh, fair uh, fair the house. So um, and the last one I want to mention uh, insecurity of health. Some fear, some women are some uh, some women are not able to uh, able to take take uh, take 
carry of pregnancy and health does not health is not there uh, they can health is not support them to take care of uh, uh, take care of the child so in that way they are not able to um, able to carry pregnancy so i must say that women is just not ready for the take care of the child and the uh, uh, unsafe pregnancy is the major issues of the today society to lost the uh, most of the humans that's the reason uh, um, they can't afford the uh, abortion so that's the reason most of the people most of the humans are lost their life and uh, last one last thing i want to mention that thing yeah, thank you, most Adam. of the person yeah, i think up. like a abortion is the so for mentioning yeah, your you. valuable words valuable points here so do you have any Uh, option to encounter her no stock yeah of course i have a ashutosh you there yeah yeah i'm here you know here. what he is just he is just going to give the befitting reply again ashutosh go yeah, on yeah i'm here so you mentioned a few points first point is that you said that pregnancy uh, to stop abortion is a procedure to end pregnancy but do you think that uh, the the life which is getting killed the definition of murder what is the definition of murder if you kill something which is alive then that is called murder so by definition it it is murder even now the second point you mentioned is that sometimes what happens unwanted pregnancy occurs for, for example you mentioned the case of rape so do you think that yeah. when yeah i am clear let clear me let, 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 let me let I me just complete my point about... let me just complete complete my point so you mentioned the problem of rape like when rape happens then the, that pregnancy is unwanted so that we must get rid of it but when you have fever fever is just a symptom of a disease that is there inside you so that disease the root cause and the fear fever is the symptom so do you just treat the symptom or you treat the root cause of the disease rape is the root cause of the root cause and that pregnancy is a symptom you are treating the symptom the treatment should be done of the ashutosh time sir okay yeah now go on yeah i i got it your point if i talk about you are if you consider as the rape uh, of the the baby is the is the mother or is the time so i want to mention one thing uh anti abortion is not an anti life before 24 weeks uh to, before 20 week uh, 24 weeks is create we consider as a life and uh, before after uh, uh, after 20 weeks and before 24 weeks we ma, we don't mention the la, uh, mention this pregnancy as a life so I'll, and also know that uh, the um, doctors are not allowed to uh, allow to uh, abortion after 24 weeks so it is no we not considered as a life so it's definitely not not a murder and uh, do you think there is a chance that we may just have got the whole word whole idea as a abortion is wrong it's not a wrong and it's not considered as a murder uh, be af- before 24 weeks it is life even before 20 24 weeks and it has been medically proven Yeah, Anam, it was really nice, and now I would like to call the team of a participants from my team, and his name is Sail. You know what about the speciality about him? He is a person who can rock the whole demonstration. So, Sail, you there? Yeah, Sail, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm audible. Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Okay. Okay, so I would be sharing my point of view that I think abortion should be banned at some point, and I will be sharing some of the important points. What I think, according to my strong opinion, the first point would be women are would be suffering if they would be taking some particular abortion pills at that time. A particular thing, what exactly women suffer at that point is sometimes the temperature rises, so they have to rush to the hospital. the blood pumped out from their body after taking abortion pills should be at an adequate amount not be too much not be too less so these things should be taken care of and these are the risk which we actually do these particular things so the, the the question could be okay women are ready to take the risk so what else why are you speaking these of the things women can take the risk there no need to ban abortion at some point right okay that's great 
the other uh, the other point would be the increase in population when people see that birth control could be a thing by which abortion abortion could control like control the birth control it is never like that abortion provides a very significant input as i said before also there are very less amount of thing or very less anomalous variation which would be done if abortion would not be banned at that point the third would be some people were saying actually that adoption is not a murder adoption is actually a murder when you over when you are talking about killing a person when you are even killing an animal or hurting an animal can be turned into animal trafficking and can punish to death at some point then killing a baby in the uterus how can it not be turned into a murder and how can it be allowed at every point of time some people were saying the questions like child will be suffering from poverty child will not get the nutritious value how would like are we human dumb enough to not aware the situation at that time do we not know the situation that we will able to carry out the child to future or not, or not? we know these things right so it it is our responsibility there should be a mental awareness there should be awareness about there should be an indian awareness in the mind that we should think that we should not have the child at will not able to carry up the child in future till the 13 age till the, i will not be able to provide that nutrition so that's why i am aborting instead of not have the child right the basic sexual education i think everyone have at that point so these were the main things which should not should be noticed and one person was actually saying that because abortion is legal if the abortion would be banned at some point some women would be taking some different steps that would be very hazardous in some points i think that doesn't that that person doesn't know the meaning of rules do you know the meaning of rules so rules is something to restrict a particular thing to get a positive consequence so if we would be restricting things definitely there would be a stop to stop to something if we would be if it is like that we should allow publicly selling like drugs actually because drug is something if people would not be getting people will be panicked to stop that particular situation we should sell publicly drugs right but we know that what should, should be the particular laws should be followed to avoid these type of situations yeah okay sahil it was the boggling one so palash from your team who is coming for the counterpart do you have anyone yeah i do have uh, i'm inviting anam to encounter sahil's point anam are you there thank you much so for yeah yeah i'm there yeah you mentioned sahil about the rules so i want to ask you uh, if you are going to ban the abortion so do you think that you are going to break the rules you uh, it means you are you women could have lost their rights over their body so in that way you are going to going to break the rules so what is the me- real meaning of the rules uh, there is a, there will be no any rules if you are going to ban the abortion so you are destroying someone's rights do you are going to some put someone's life in the risk okay that's it okay if the definition of dumb okay is it you can okay, no no so i would be talking about the things what exactly the rules rules are some restriction to again get a positive outcome at some point and when you are saying that it's their choice some at, at some point they shouldn't do these type of things or it is their choice to add, like to have an abortion i think then everybody have their choice then should, there should be no laws at some point everybody could kill people there would be definitely a lot of retardation in population from the 140 crore to 90 crore at some point the poison should be sell publicly everybody would be everybody would be eating poison everybody would be unintentionally providing poison to every people and the population will be retarded at some point with a very significant depletion so i think there's no point of saying that that uh, it's a girl choice at some point he shouldn't go for a ab- abortion or something like that it's again that abortion is something to killing a person killing a that a person who would be teen at some point of time who would be living a happy married life so it's uh, you should think from that perspective not some not, not the perspective you were talking about yeah yeah sahil thank you so much you know what you smashed this it was really nice mm-hmm. if someone is having abnormal fetus then then of course that person will go for abortion yeah yeah one more thing like yeah uh, you sp- first of all speaking is not allowed you dumb uh, so i i, I, I would that's enough guys now here time comes for a battle of second round from my team i would like to invite a yes, ma'am a speaker from our team is remaining okay 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 yes beto sorry my bad yeah. now palash yeah yeah 
So yeah, from my team, I want to invite Silency to rock on the floor. Mm, thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I guess uh, lots, lots have been actually spoken on the topic. Uh, for me, I will just uh, straightly, uh, brightly, I will, uh, you know, go to... I will take the constitutional uh, background of this, that uh, I guess it is the moral right of the women to decide what to do with her body, because it is the the, um, the matter is concerned about her body, so let her decide it. Even Supreme Court in the initial days was actually quite sensitive about it. They, they were even had put a ban on it, even, I guess. So, uh, but uh, recently, although it was a two, uh, 2021 uh, you know, decision, or I can say 2010 lawmaking process, where it was, uh, you know, it, the, the same was banned. But recently, in the recent in the recent decision, uh, you know, Supreme Court had even spoken in favor of the abortion. The, the actually the decision was on the basis of research, on the basis of scientific, uh, you know, I guess scientific consultations. So even you can, as many people were here, uh, just uh, you know, proclaiming that uh, uh, you know, in India or you know, in a country like India, I guess. Uh, that will be the uh, you know proper term that is all and rapes are going rampant and in such circumstances i guess when a girl is being raped she don't have any other option because already the protection she had not been with her protection guild she had not been uh, you know ready for that act so what is the solution for that the solution is only to go for abortion so that's why if you are you people are some people are even proclaiming that it's going to kill the human being what about the girl she don't have any option for going for suicide because you know suicide will be only the way out to get out of that social insult so even we can say that uh, even the second trick is the second thing here the third even the third argument here is that you all know that population explosion is the biggest problem for india it's the biggest challenge so to control it even there are other avenues but this one is also being you know it's even prevailing and since the traditional time it had been doing it had been uh, you know even on the practice practice it has been there so even social economically educationally I guess uh, you know the the repercussions and the, even the consequences for you know the I can say the you know the population explosion you know the consequences are quite disastrous in the matters of you know the uh, you know the childrens which will come out they would not have social they won't be secured socially educationally or so these are actually the things even definition of life definition of life had you know categorically changed we need now quality of life and constitutional guarantee when you don't have the constitutional guarantee there when you are putting uh, you know uh, when you are uh, intervening in the decision making right of the women then you cannot proclaim for women empowerment if you are just uh, doing something which the tradition which we had not been even uh, traditionally uh, you, you are going against the tradition maybe there are some problems there but it has been only possible the scientific scientific research has been there and then only supreme court had taken the decision on the grounds of some medical advisories so we have Yeah, silence. You silence know it. what? You yeah. already have put in one extra one minute for complete one extra minute. You have put in because your time was already uh, finished. And now I think it's time for a counterpart. Okay. Anyways. Okay. How's the last attack? Do you have any option to encounter him? Yeah, still I do have a lots of options, but for now I think I can send only one. So Sahil, you there? Sahil, you there? Yeah, yeah, I am here, yeah. Okay, Sahil, please go on. Yeah, just a second. Yeah, okay, so as he was talking about... Like, was... The game began. One minute, I think he's not there. He's facing some network issue. Am I not audible? You are audible. You are audible. Okay, okay, in okay, a meantime, okay. in a meantime, if he is not here, the person who was speaking at that time, uh, you can ask your question, but to whom you will ask? So now question arises. So Palash, where is your participants? He has gone. Are you might be he is really facing some... No, 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 no. Uh, might be he is facing some network issue. Let's just wait for a moment. I hope he will be back. Okay, wait so... for a moment. What if he will not come? So yeah, I would, I have some other option to encounter. 
so okay no issues may i ask the question from pala side pala side uh no 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 you are not the one who can ask a question yes but you can respond on the behalf of you can respond you can you can come i can answer you can respond the council okay okay question. now we have a participants who all who has already given their consent so sahil please go on and counter that okay sure yeah uh, my first point would be as you said you talked about some uh population term right it could be one of the thing not directly it couldn't control the population but it could be one of the thing. Uh, abortion is made legal at some point okay let's see i even in my neighbors even in the villages i have visited to even in the some of the scenes i have seen there are nine kids of the people nowadays also one girl two girl three girl four girl five girl six girl seven girl eight girl the ninth is the boy then they saw producing child so that even okay. they are they are not going towards the tendency of abortion at that point still they are having the nine nine kids at that point so even if you would be making legal or not the population problem will not be affected by ab- abortion at any point of time because it's about the mentality how we would be thinking it after one kid we should stop rather be a girl or rather be a boy i have seen people keep keep doing it we should think before that we should not think that okay how my kid will be performing how i will be providing nutrition to that particular kid we should think at that point that okay well, now we don't have to produce kid we we, we should having that particular knowledge time sub sahil time sir now palash you can ask anyone to respond him yeah okay is anyone here to respond this post this question yeah i can respond yeah yeah May go I... ahead man okay bichu palash <laughs> thanks thanks for your question but actually it looked look like that you were supposed you are supporting that abortion should be legalized as you yourself said that even if we are legalizing it people are resorting to the abortion only when it is strictly needed like as you gave example even if they are having a girl child and if they are okay with that they are able to they are financially stable they are able to raise them in a proper way then they are not resorting to abortion definitely so i i will also kind of support your contention that it should be always by choice it is women's body whatever they feel if they want to abort if they want to raise that child they should be given the option it should not be a, something that is forced by state and laws it it is all about that woman whether that whether she is wanting to raise the child or not yeah thanks that's all i wanted to say yeah well wow, done bichu it was thanks very nice to meet you So, so finally we are finally like, we are we done should... with the first round wow and it comes out as an amazing debate what do you think palash yes so it was really a nice conversation to listen all of you it was really a nice conversation that you guys did you guys did really something awesome yeah. so we should start the second round yeah, right now yeah here times come for a battle of a second round So from my team I would yeah. like to invite Atar and Anand you know what Atar is a like whiskey in a tea cup and Anand is like he's a leader of his own so from your team who is coming for this round So for this second round battle I want to invite Mr Bitu and Alaini to reply to encounter you guys Bitu and Alaini Yeah man there Right. Okay can we start? Yeah your time start now. Yeah so okay thanks for the opportunity. So I would like to start by asking a question. Like why the world is so anti abortion? Why aren't we giving the women their rights whatever they feel what whether they are like why we are anti choice anti women and anti equality okay. I would rather say. Okay. if you are aware of the term periods you might also be aware of the term how to like what is conceiving a child and what are the effects of women or what are the effects of uh, on a women's body when she goes through periods and even after abortion if you are aware of that you might know that a woman goes through mixed emotion when she experiences in experiences something or uh, even during this ovulation period and even after if she has 
uh, aborted a baby that in turn results in very bad circumstances like let me give an example your participant once spoke that uh, 20% of women died due to unwanted pregnancy and you know what is the number of women who died due to unsafe abortion 13.2% more than 1.2% difference is there 7% of un, un, unsafe abortions are done on women if you are aware of the term untreated ectopic pregnancy that is has been pra been practiced in india due to lack of medical health uh, services and due to uh, not having proper equipments and experienced doctors and this in turn is leading to many deaths of women now uh, i'd like to ask you a question in turn like you said uh, of rapes right women who go through rapes and are, are victim of such physical abuse they should not uh, conceive the child or they should not keep the baby you are indirectly supporting the rape and letting the uh, person who raped go away why not give him the responsibility why can't his family take care of the child and why cannot he bear the responsibility of raising the child and uh, be given all the penalty of this thing why a woman has to go through i'm um, okay like a woman has gone through rape she isn't the victim uh, she isn't the uh, she doesn't have to bear the consequences okay so ma'am ma like really are you really talking about reality do you really think that that person who is a rapist will be taking care of that child why and that family? woman no why can't his why? family why not? <laughs> do you even think Government like even there are any use. chances you These are supporting book is saying that you, you are, are saying wow that like we can get rid we can get rid by abortion and it is the solution the you can how can you can get rid <laughs> like you should go and read laws what are the strict punishment for rape strict punishment they don't instead do of like a child they don't tell anything okay so you child. are saying that instead of sending them to jail we should give, we should tell them okay you have done rape that is why really good thing now you deserve this woman as your wife and you can oh, raise your children along with this no she doesn't isn't that ridiculous him? instead of getting sending him to jail you are telling okay now you have then rape and you also deserve no. this woman as your wife is that no. your what is you want to say tell, i didn't tell they need to marry you are directly I telling this i don't i didn't tell After they your two minute long speech Why? this is the only we can say expenses that. he should bear the expenses and he should raise the child or his family do you really think that if someone him? is having that kind of financial stability that person will be a rapist and all Uh, raping they doesn't go, have like, anything to do with financial they can go to the raping is a mentality raping is a is a person's natural personality but if you and see at a longer data like at a wider data if the you would have read who are not that well capable okay. enough will instead go to rape and if all. you would have read the book because why they are not financially rape, educated and all if if you would have read the <laughs> book why men if you rape, go you and read some them. studies Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell I me. I did. I already did. And you are just female, giving long speeches. I'm more speeches, aware of this but... thing. I'm more aware of the fee. What are the after effects of uh, this periods and how how a woman's body reacts to the <laughs> ovulation process every month and what will be its repercussions even after going through a uh, pregnancy or even after through this abortion, what it feels. Okay, so even after. So every, you want every, that woman to? Okay, let me ask another question. Okay. What what good can you come? What good you will have after forcing uh, that listen, woman to have a child that they want don't want? Okay, so if it is in the case of a rape, uh, I think raising a not child rape, is not just possible. Let's talk about it a wider dimension. Yeah. What good is happening if we are allowing that child to come in with life? emotional stability you know what a mother feels like when she has a child if you would have uh, a problem no but is she is not wanting it be. why she will feel mentally safe and stable that's why she was she going for abortion because she didn't wanted it at initial also okay, so how can you say that she will feel happy rape, if she was happy why, why she, she would go for abortion why she would go for abortion if she was happy to have the child how can you say she didn't want the child and you know one thing that's why she is going for abortion really simple is that here. you are really just simple female infanticide here that even if a person's family or her in law are that. telling her that you should get rid of the child then also she will i'm i'm telling that you are that is already banned we should not we should so not even you, talk about you that you are saying something that is about banned rape and you 
think we should think how okay just tell me how i was supporting female infanticide that is directly banned you are supporting female infanticide you are supporting infanticide let me explain please you are supporting explain, infanticide, let me explain, let me supporting infanticide. <laughs> yeah see, can you, you speak one by one you know you want the fundamental you said your see, can can you participant has can you speak one by one both of you are not audible our body you are supporting by the means of having the fundamental right to gain the legal right to not only to kill uh, innocent no no tell me about female infanticide to, you people ask question and then divert when i ask you further question have a, uh, you know reckless relationship yeah. with any one or with a couple and do the abortion do abortion as much as they can what is this is the reckless kind of relationships are reality you you are talking happen. about population you are saying about due to abortion population is going to reduce so you are saying okay, that if so you the, go and see study the abortion rates are similar whether it is, is legalized in a country or not no, in not. every country, country you will see to, they are similar this is a way to solve yeah, the come with your study they are similar no, no, you want to say and also you said that fertility and also you said that fertility will get affected there is no study that is saying that fertility will ever get affected by any are you a woman you can't come up with any <laughs> so what i study the same whatever you study <laughs> in experiencing and studying is a different thing you don't know anything about i you wouldn't know anything about the practice so why we are invited on this debate bitu i'm not if only women are invited only women are invited only women think that knows. your side is fighting for uh, fighting in a debate which in which they only want to win for rightly gain the authority to kill or murder an innocent is this a cruelty is this not a cruelty What about that you woman? Want a legal right. You you want a legal and right to kill the like person. what that kind of reason you are giving to that child? Society. Do you this even think that in in this no. kind of do you that child will get proper treatment and do all? Do you want that woman to die? Because in India, I don't, don't want that woman to suffer for no, life by raising a children that she would not want it. For women to go through this. Then definitely they so had alternatives, abortion. brother. They were there are alternatives like what they can kind of alternatives they are having. Or adoption center. Often he just not, not take care. Bad don't they take care of idea. them properly? They But they don't the take care of them properly. Government is are, are taking initiatives regarding these things. They are also. That's why I am saying that regarding. you people are not Orphanage talking about reality. So that people you are just giving these different there. kind of Guys, opinions that in reality can't be. government is taking responsibility but what are the effects is it having any positive effect in any way rapes are still where it were people and women are getting raped so raping uh, like uh, punishing the rapist would not be an option but getting rid of the baby would be having an abortion would be right is for a person to have or a female to go through what if she wants a baby what if imagine what if imagine what if imagine ma'am you are saying that tell the rapist to raise the child and woman while we are saying that send that rapist to jail and abort so that that woman can live her rest of the life freely and also consider the condition of the woman while she is getting raped will she want to be attached to that kid who was born because she was getting trouble she was getting that, raped that what does not allow that, that we should kill that does not allow that we have the power to kill innocent that does give you right that right. does give you right that 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 does give you right nothing can justify the you know killing of a well grown baby inside the womb of a mother don't forget that if you that is if you a life person that is a life person hey guys 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 okay guys okay guys it was really jealous one and the heated one we really say that it's a clash of minds and now hence proved it was really nice you four really give very good points and let's see what will happen so palash what's your take on this Yeah it was really nice to listen all of them the way they explained all the matters the way they point out each and every things that that was really nice to say yeah, so i hope really you nice. guys enjoy the second round as well so we should go move ahead for third round yeah let's moving towards so for the third last round one. for conclusion i'm inviting mr smiley from my team and who going to be from your team to okay, all from the... my team, uh, I think you have heard him previously. So, from my team, Ashutosh will come for the conclusion part, and he will conclude the whole 
debate session so ashutosh yeah yeah i'm here okay ashutosh go on okay you have only 2 so, minutes make sure and do your best okay first of all my mother because she didn't get for, she didn't went for abortion and that's why i'm alive today and because your mothers did not go for abortion and that's why you people are alive today so let's thank our moms that she chose our life above all the problems she might have faced and we can't justify cruelty against an innocent soul in any way that unborn life wants to live and let's give that life a chance to live rather than imposing on it our narrow minded perspective and end up killing it don't try to and we should not try to twist the definition of murder to justify our cruelty while i am saying that let's celebrate life and condemn murder all kinds of murder because abortion is also a kind of murder which has been established through this debate that's all thank you okay ashutosh still you have a time would you like to or it's enough no. wrong okay it's, okay it's, it's okay you really have spoken very good points you have mentioned your mother which is really important for this whole debate and palash now to whom you are going to call so from my team as i told earlier mr smiley i'm going to make everyone smile by his captivating sound come up yeah, mr smiley thank you so much so yeah let's now we heard all the great points by both of the team and let's jump into the conclusion so in the conclusion the argument to ban abortion in india is not only dangerous for the women health and their rights but it's also unrealistic based on like flawed assumption which you guys making that it's a murder and all so the facts and the data speak themselves that banning abortion will lead to rise in maternal mortality mortality rates and women lives at risk and negatively impact the indian economy too and uh, like some of the assumptions were you were completely baseless but in the end i would like to conclude that it's time to acknowledge that women's reproductive rights are human rights and that the right to choose whether to continue to end pregnancy is a personal and private decision that should be left on the woman and her doctor and uh, if you are thinking that why if you are imposing the restrictions to not to ban a movie do you even realize like making something making someone do what they don't want it to do making not giving people choices what can result into this year itself in 2023 78941 people committed suicide so far why because they don't get choices they are restricted to do what they didn't want it to do if you are like you are literally killing people you are killing the lives instead of like don't want to go deeper as we uh, uh, my participants already mentioned all points so uh, so far let's stand together and say no no ban no uh, no ban no no to uh, sorry so let's stand together and say no to a ban on abortion in india and let's prioritize women's health and right and work towards creating a world where all women have access to to the care and services they needed to make the informed decision and their bodies to for their future and career thank you smiley, so much thank you. okay yeah. so mr smiley as i know and whatever i heard from you that was really amazing and you have spoken one of the best point which i have ever heard so it was nice from your side and every participant did really well so palaj what do you think it was my really amazing experience to host this debate with along with you so i was thinking like yeah might be it could be a hard topic to talk about might be it could be a matter that people uh, will feel ashamed to talk about but the uh, the way they talk about it the way they debate about it that was really amazing 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 i thought that they will draw back th- themselves from the debate but the way they move ahead it was really amazing it was really amazing experience for me so what will be what is yeah. your perception about it my perception is like as we all know consistency is what transforms everything into excellence and your attitude decides your success so this is my take over on 
this particular debate and it turns out as a best one in my opinion and uh, i think now it's time to wind up the session it was such a awesome session and i would like to thank each one of you who had participated and the one who stayed with us till the end they deserves an applaud from our side and you know what my co-host palash you were just an amazing you did really well so thank mike you is so all much. yours palash thank you so much thank you so much for having me here and yeah i'm signing out from here so i think the mm. judge is going to take the flow right now so mike over to them yeah it was really nice to have you all here thank you everyone thank all of the participants the judges and the okay lovely audience it was really nice to have you all okay before before you guys leave actually so any words from the audience you know like any feedback like there were a lot of people here you guys can feel free to speak